Hello, old friend. Been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Why, hello there. And welcome back to our Harmony Only Challenge. Geez, it's been a while since we've uttered those words. Today, we wanted to have a little chat with you all regarding this series. And before you jump to conclusions now, this is not a video going over how we're quitting our Harmony Only account. Quite the opposite, we actually wanted to fill you all in on why there has been no episodes for a while. So kick back and enjoy the combat footage while we explain. So where has the episodes been for this series? Well, that is a long story within itself. And the simple answer is that we've had no time as we've been dealing with quite a lot these past two months, both physically and emotionally in regards to some rather life-changing tragedies on top of our own health issues. And if that wasn't enough at the time, we were dealing with a rather severe case of major burnout in regards to actually making videos for the channel. All of these factors coupled together with our own continuous need to try and top every video we make just came together and came crashing down on us like a ton of bricks, making a second guess and rework every project we tried to make within that time span. Unfortunately, these continuous reworks affected a lot of now-scrapped projects, but primarily the Harmony Only series, one of these videos that underwent continuous changes and issue during production, is in fact the roulette summons for Robin. Now, if you're a fan of our Harmony Only series, you know the general premise behind our roulette summons, but in case you're not, allow us to explain. You see, the general premise of our roulette summons is that after every 10 pull on the limited character banner, as an example of this, we'll use our first ever summon video for the series, which was for Hanya. After 10 pull on Hanya's banner, we would spin three different roulette wheels, one of which had a limitation such as no relics or light cones, another that had a goal to achieve such as simulated universe clear. And thirdly, the duration or amount of waves we had to do that challenge for. And at the time, that was fine. However, as we edited more and more of the Roulette Summon videos, we noticed a theme and pattern beginning to emerge with each passing episode. And that pattern was it was all just the same thing with a variation of different outcomes depending on the banner. And once we realized this, we thought long and hard pondering realistic challenges we could add only to come up with nothing. And when we realized that, we also realized that as the series progresses, certain changes would have to be made in order to secure its longevity. And what changes are those you may be wondering? Well, the most notable change to this series will be in the form of the summoning videos themselves, in which we will be putting the roulette portion of the summons to the sidelines for the foreseeable future. Which, while they were fun to edit at the beginning of the series, over time they lost their magic and became very stale to edit. This coupled with the fact a majority of them span well into the 30 to 40 plus minute mark doesn't really make them viewer friendly either. And that is without mentioning the sheer amount of time and effort in order to actually make them. For example, let's take the Robin Roulette Summons. Would you believe that we have been working on it since her banner debut? Yet, as embarrassing as that is to admit, it's unfortunately true, as we just kept running into issues during the process, such syncing issues, animation assets, just outright vanishing from our laptop, as well as just general pacing issues, which has proved to be quite demoralizing when we're continuously re-editing things we've already done before, but hey, it comes with the territory of doing videos on YouTube, right? So as we said previously, there will be no more roulette summons. However, that doesn't mean we will stop using the roulette as a whole. Maybe in the future, it'll return for some special episodes on both the Harmony and Fusion only accounts. Where we gather challenge ideas from you, the lovely folks at home, and see how far each of the accounts can progress during these trials. So next up on our list of things to talk about today, we have content more importantly. What can you expect going forward on the channel? Well, Harmony only and Fusion only will be mainstays on the channel. As well as character building on our main account for Weathering Waves, we'll also return with Yin Lin. And in regards to that series, we've learned from our Geon episode that a week is too long, so we're going to keep it to a day from now on. 
as well as a few challenge runs regarding weathering waves that we have not really seen anybody else tackling for some reason, as well as a few returning games and a couple new ones such as Elden Ring, especially since the DLC has finally released for it. The First Ascendant is also another as we have a planned run that is being held up due to the abhorrent leveling system currently in game, as well as another run in the works depending on a certain character in Season 1. Elder Scrolls Online will also return very briefly purely for the fact that we have finally managed to complete a long-term project in that game and want to upload the build for you all. And a few other titles that we're looking forward to thinking up challenges for such as Stellar Blade and Black Myth Wukong. So we hope you'll join us for when those go live, and if you have any suggestions for runs, please let us know in the comments below. But in regards to content on the Harmony Only account, besides what we have recorded so far for it. In terms of the Lufu and Panakini stories, we also have Ruin Mii's rerun summons, which as we said earlier, is taking a brand new approach, which will fairly similar approach to our recently released Changli summons on Wuthering Waves. And as of editing this video, we have a rerun banner for Sparkle just around the corner, which not only features Hanya, but also features Yukong, which is huge for the account, as she is one of our lower non for Star Resonance characters on the account. And well, besides taking on various side stories, and with no new Harmoniers on the horizon, the only things left on this account are really to level up and grind relics for Celis and the girls, and up our equilibrium levels. But fret not, you will still have a steady supply of content coming from the series, coming your way as soon as humanly possible. Such as individual character building episodes for each of our Harmoniers, where we use 4,000 fuel on each of our characters in order to turn them into the best possible versions of themselves that we can possibly make. Which is going to be really fun, because as you can see from the background footage, our Harmoniers are really starting to shine and come into their own. Especially our Break team, which has been aptly named Breaking News. But in all honesty, that could just be due to Robin being well. Robin, and carrying this whole account squarely on her shoulders. And with that, that will wrap up this little update video. So just to recap on what we've talked about, the roulette summons are no longer happening, rather, they will be approached in a similar way to our Changli summons. Character building for Weathering Waves will be limited to a day rather than a week. Some new challenges are arriving to the channel, and that is about it. But before we sign off for today, we would just like to thank you all so much to both subscribers new and old, because as of making this video, we are really close to 300 subscribers and honestly it's mind-blowing. We often think back to when we had like 5 for the longest time, and now to be at 290 is mind-boggling, so to every single one of you, we would like to say a heartfelt thank you as your support really keeps us going, and we really do appreciate it. So thank you all just so very much. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you all next time.